Hi guys and welcome back to another Tuesday 2 Minute Tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can download and install Photoshop Actions. And I'm going to start right now. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do is make sure that you've got an action saved on your computer. I'd recommend saving it in a safe spot, maybe in a folder or on your hard drive. Once you've uh, got that area or that file action selected, all you'll need to do is simply open Photoshop. So I've got Photoshop already open and I'm gonna go ahead and just open up a default photo. And this is a photo I've recently been working on. So all you'll need to do is make sure you've got your action windows open. So at the moment, I've got my actions up here, but if you haven't got it up in this little folder, all you'll need to do is go to windows and you'll just need to go ahead and just select the actions panel. And as you can see, the actions have opened up. Now to import actions and export actions are very similar. So I'm gonna show you both in this tutorial. So all you need to do is in your actions window, you need to go to the top right hand corner. So that's those little icon that you can see here. Select and all you'll need to do is simply go to load actions. And all you need to do is simply choose the action that you've saved. So if you go ahead and go to your desktop, I have saved mine called lemon. And all I need to do now is simply click open. And as you can see, it's popped up there in my actions panel. And all you need to do is simply export it. It's very similar. Make sure you've got that lemon or whatever action that you've got saved. So we've got it there. All you need to do is go back up to the window again. So go to the options. And instead of going load, what we're gonna do is go to save. And once you've pressed save, it will open up with another dialog box where asking you where to save it. So I'm just gonna save it to my desktop and all you'll need to do is simply click save. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace it because that I've already got one already called that. And if we go ahead and click close, as you can see, we've got the action on our desktop. And there we go guys. So that's how you can save and load actions in Photoshop. <laughs> 